what if Australia had a colonial empire? They have become Imperial Australia, kind of like Imperial Japan, and uh, they're taken after their former overlords and starting their own, like, British Empire. I've definitely never seen a game like this before in, like, the thousands of simulations we've had play out, which is kind of surprising, although, yeah, they are super dominant here. I mean, it's a little overkill, to be honest, but, you know, I just wanted to have fun with it because they're definitely gonna lose some of this stuff. I don't know from, like, South America or North America, maybe stuff back home. I don't know how they're gonna defend all of it, to be honest. Now, the sun does set on the Empire of Australia. Like, they need more territory here in, like, either Western Africa or definitely in Europe in order to fulfill their prophecy, in order for them to become their father or something like that. And just for funsies, I figured like one of the only places that could resist so close to Australia would be New Zealand. You know, I don't know. I think maybe they have a, okay, they probably are not gonna have a chance unless they get that number way higher. But anyways, as you can probably tell, they're kind of this weird fusion empire between like the former British empire and like Imperial Japan, like I said. And you know, some, uh, some what's it called? Man of the High Castle stuff with their territories in North America. Let's see if they, you know, continue to expand over there though. They also have the Southern part of the Philippines, Taiwan, and this one island on Japan. Didn't give them anything in Korea. This is, you know, something up for grabs, possibly. You know, China is definitely not gonna like this either. China might kind of push them out. And because all the states are independent, there's definitely gonna be a lot of infighting and not as much uh, worry about the approaching uh, prisoners, the, pr the prison army, the prisoner army's coming after him, getting ready to shank some stuff. Oh, it's already happens. There it goes. So this is gonna be a, kind of a big deal. Whoa. Okay, uh, they are a little overpowered to say the least. Wow, where the hell is all of China's sh like stuff at? Where'd it go? Or maybe they lost a lot of it in the initial battles and now they're just, you know, Australia's having their way with them. Well, that ain't good. I'm assuming this is maybe going to be a little bit easier for them. They need, like, everyone to get involved, like India and, well, let's see what happens in Europe. If a big power comes out of here, which it might, then they could help. Oh, yeah, because, look, we got, like, Italy and France both going after Spain. It took a while for, like... I don't know, some conflicts to pop up. Poland's going after Belarus and other things. Turkey's fighting someone. Oh boy, there goes Texas and Mexico. And that's like, that's kind of it. Come on now, you guys got to do something. And there's no California, California's super weak now. Wow, so they ate all of China that fast, that easy. It did, they didn't have to like, you know, partially peace out and like let them still survive. I don't know how they did that. So uh, this is bad. This is really bad for the rest of the world. Whoa, Italy grabbed Morocco. That is rare. How'd they do that? We've never seen that before, but now they are like outside of the Mediterranean. They have something along the Atlantic coast. Kind of cool. Atlantic Ocean, whatever. Oh boy. Okay, things are getting real messy right here. And uh, that's not good, but maybe not bad. You know what? I think one of the only hopes left is Russia. The, the Russians might be the only ones ready to stop Australia. I think Brazil might survive this one. Normally in this game, Brazil collapses real fast because they have too many enemies at once. But because... They're much weaker, the Spanish side of South America. Uh, yeah, the Portuguese side might be all right. There we go, Napoleon. We need you. We definitely need you. I'm liking this Italy, though. This is really cool. So they got a little bit out of it. What is this, Catalonia? Part of Catalonia? Wait, they haven't pieced out yet. Oh, yeah, they have not pieced out yet, so that's coming soon. And this is happening again. Surprise, surprise. Once again, Magno is not going to save you. <laughs> it's definitely, they've busted through that. How is Michigan over here? Michigan, what kind of black magic are you? Oh, Michigan's dead, too. Michigan and Ohio. So, once again, states are not going to hold up very well. Romania and Greece is now a thing. And it's not peaced yet. Also, Turkey's still surviving, trying to survive the best they can. But, uh, yeah, a lot of messy stuff is going on. Also, the British has... Is this Bosnia? Former Bosnian territory? How the hell did they get that? This, oh, oh, yeah, that's right. There's a barrel. I forget about this, like tiny little naval port that they can attack from. Okay, cool. Malaysia has now taken up and merged with Indonesia. I don't think it was a, it wasn't a merge. It wasn't a peaceful merge. It was a forceful merge, uh, or in other words, uh, a war. But you know, I'm trying to sugarcoat it a little bit. So Spain has been saved, just barely. Also, Italy might be getting kicked out of here, unfortunately. Come on, don't do that. That's too fast. So they're going after Libya, apparently. I mean, I don't know how they got to Moroccan territory, but okay. This game's really hard to control. Like, the window will like be like, bah, bah, bah. It's so weird. And there go the Persians. Pretty sure the Persians are not going to make it out of this one. Nope, not, not happening. And Ethiopia is attacking Egypt, and they are about to get eliminated. Oh yeah, they're all gone. There go the pyramids. Uh, Australia, can you s stop? 
Can you please stop? Why did you take over all of Russia? You were not supposed to take over all of Russia. Also, Argentina is once again kicking booty up here against Brazil. I don't know if Brazil's super underpowered here or I don't know what's going on. Look at all these Australian regiments just getting ready, getting ready to take over the entire world. They're going after Europe, pretty sure. Now, no, the, the sun just still doesn't set. Oh, the, yeah, the sun is set, still setting, I think, on the empire. Anything interesting happening over here? Not really. Still not really. I mean, it's the normal things for the most part. That's the sexiest Azerbaijan we've seen in a while, and that is for sure their new territories. Well, keep in mind, this is another, this is Turkmenistan, so yeah, they're not the green that you're thinking, but a lot of things collapsed over here, and uh, that's weird. Not used to that. Oh, Japan taking matters into their own hands. Uh, Kimi is gonna be angry about this one, and actually, no, they're not gonna, they, yeah, they're gonna get kicked out. I really didn't think Australia was gonna be this strong. I mean, I thought they were gonna be pretty strong, but the way I set it up, I, I figured they'd get kicked out of a lot of places. That's not gonna happen, not at all. But the UK's fighting back. The UK's gonna come up with their own empire again. Now they've got Belgium, and they still have uh, part of this down here. Sweden is now attacking Germany from the north. That's new. Once again, freaky things are happening. Canada, please get back to your own side. Why are you attacking Mexico? This is the first time we've actually seen this. Alabama, my state! Yeehaw! Oh, that's, that's right. When Bama takes over your territory, well, let's just say, hopefully, you don't have a sister. Or for some of you, maybe you should. Maybe that's a good thing, I don't know. <laughs> Romania going strong, now attacking Ukraine, and Latvia! Whoa, where did this Latvia come from? This is a peace deal, so they're keeping this, and Lithuania is just a small little dot inside. That's nice, Keep they're, they're friends, they're friendly. Australia hasn't expanded too much yet, but I mean, they're probably like, why? Why do we want to do that? We already took over the two strongest places, because there is no US, and they already know they have this thing unlocked. And now Connecticut doing some funky things here, but I like I like what they're trying. They, they got some territory, they're not gonna survive, but I just wanted to point this out. Is Canada actually, yeah, Canada has beaten Mexico back. Although New Mexico is gonna help out the OG, and well, they're gonna get crushed. But uh, yeah, Australia did a little bit of something something, helped take out Mexico, that's it though. I like how California's still doing something. They're doing, you know, a little bit. I don't know how they're doing this, and they're not even connected over here, but all right. And now Sweden is gone. Thanks a lot, Australia. I was actually rooting for, oh, they're actually attacking Germany right now. And Germany's holding them down. They hold them back. Okay, that's, they're, that's good. Did Romania change their color, or have they always been red? Looks like they, they looks like they changed their color. Oh, they, they're kicking the UK out a little bit. I'm liking this, though. It's kind of cool. Once again, Congo doing pretty good. Oh, they also have South Africa. Congo doing really good in... All of Africa for now, for now. Japan did end up taking out North Korea and they're attacking South Korea. So of course they're gonna be the ones to unify this area because you don't want to get on anyone else's bad side. Well, there's no troops over here so the Australians wouldn't be prepared. All right, who buffed Romania? I didn't buff Romania. Someone must have hacked into this because uh, they now have Egypt. I don't know why and like Sudan. What? is happening. Yeah, let's go Latvia! Let's go- oh, they're actually attacking Australia. Don't do- don't- don't kill Latvia. Leave them alone. But they're- yeah, they're- they're all attacking Poland, I guess. Not the first time that's happened, that's for sure. Oh no, now Romania is in- under some sort of invasion, I think. Wait, are they? I can't tell. Yes, they are. Turkey crossing the Caspian Sea somehow and moving towards Central Asia. Oh, okay. I'm- I, I, don't, I don't know what's happening. Washington now has Texas for some unknown reason, and we have Arkansas expanding through and starting their own like Oklahoma panhandle. Is that what this is? Really thick, sexy panhandle? I like how a lot of these countries right next to Australia have been doing fine. They survived. New Zealand, Malaysia, the Philippines, Japan. I mean, they're okay. It's the places that are much further away that really gotta worry. Let's go Italy. I'm so glad they've kept this. That's kind of crazy. And then Spain came back briefly. Uh, Algeria looking good. Romania's still okay. And they took a lot of Northern Africa. I don't know what is going on. I love how ugly this map is. Also, Turkey, why is Turkey still doing amazing? Monaco has come back. Ghana, look at Ghana. What is happening? The Latvian Empire has become the breakout star for this video. Like, who cares about Australia? Let's talk about Latvia. Also, Finland took out Norway a while ago, and I didn't mention it. Also, Finland is now giving Latvia some trouble. Come on, Finland. Don't, oh, they're getting pushed out, doesn't matter. Yes, I realize Turkey is now in Australia, and Denmark is in Northern France, so that's a thing. Australia hits, Australia's here too. Oh, what? Fazan? Have not seen that name before in a while. So there was clearly a rebellion and they broke off and started this thing. Also Dong, love Dong. Who else doesn't love Dong? Dongolia, Dongolia. <sighs> Trying really hard not to act like a 12 year old right now, but that might be my favorite name of all time. Does anyone else feel like Dongolia is massive? That's a massive Dongolia. Well, 
North America's dead. Say goodbye to North America. Canada was taken out sl states slowly one by one. Look at Connecticut get northern Florida. That's amazing to see like some of these smaller northeastern places do well. But it's all over now. Also, let's not forget that Monaco starts off extremely tiny. They're like one of those small, tiny city places and they're getting more stuff so that's kind of cool i'm pretty sure when you have like a massive empire that's just taking out everything it completely open it like completely breaks down the game even more and that's why we're seeing like insane countries do super well italy's bringing back that ivory coast although ghana still has a little bit of stuff to do also yeah there's, there's some weird empires that are coming that i'm not used to seeing at all turkey is now a beast and i'm thinking they're being supported by the australians maybe that's why look at how many like they've just they're just dotted all over the place. They got like crazy uh, little colonies, I guess. Oh, look at French. French Guy. I've still not really been able to pronounce it. Oh, you know, this is Colombia. Uh, Col Colombia. <laughs> this is Colombia, but it had similar yellow. So I was like, look at them like going good. They're, they're doing okay. But yeah, Venezuela took out Brazil, helped, helped by Argentina. We also got Pennsylvania having out Cuba. Having out. Pretty sure that is not a word, Drew, but that's okay. The UK got some stuff down here too. UK had a pretty good game. Rhode Island? No! Chile, Canada, uh, whoever you are, leave Rhode Island alone. They finally are big and powerful and that's new for them. Nigeria, I swear you better not touch Dongolia. I love Dongolia. Oh, I, you know, it kind of makes me sad because Romania lost a lot out of Dongolia. They lost their Dong. This game's so insane. Like, y briefly, you see, like, so many empires take things. I mean, they end up losing. Like, Brazil's gonna lose this. They got 21 troops, and they're just surrounded by these very angry Australians. But look at that. They will survive in North... Oh, they are getting taken out right now, aren't they? Yep, Connecticut's grabbing all that. Yeah, this was weird. This was really weird. I knew they were gonna be strong, but not this strong. They literally took out China, Russia, and North America. But the things along the way made it even better. Look at Spain, which Spain hasn't pieced out for this yet. But we saw like an amazing Latvian Empire for a second there. Amazing Turkey. Randomly, Germany just came back. I don't know how that happened. Japan is now invading inside of Italy. And yeah, Italy has nothing. So I don't know how the Japanese got out here. Maybe they're still mad about the 1940s. I don't know. Bam, let's go. Top 10. We got Malaysia, Argentina, India, Japan, Spain, Bangladesh, DR Congo, who kind of controls all of Africa, New Zealand, Whoa, whoa, hold up. Okay, Pakistan and then obviously Australia. How did New Zealand get number three? This game is so weird. I need to figure out how the scoring system works. Three, how did New Zealand get three? Maybe, maybe they were like a vassal or something and then Australia just decided to help that little brother out, help them get into third place, the top three. I don't even care about Imperial Australia. I care about <laughs> New Zealand and all the other amazing countries along the way. Man, these are some disgusting borders though, Congo. Can you please clean it up? Please? You never know what's gonna happen though. People might come back and it could get even worse. Let me know what other countries you'd like me to turn into kind of like a British colonial empire type thing. Uh, really liking that Imperial Australia. Maybe we'll, we'll tone it, tune it down a little bit, but uh, look at this like weird font. It's like rampy. It's like a roller coaster or something like that. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. A big thanks to Vinny Chang. Hey, Mikey. Pelofsky. Vincent S. Free Cruz. Junior0915. Daddy Kim, Supreme Leader of the Universe. Lol Knight. Ballin' Like Stalin. Birthday Daddy. Sleeper56. Mega Fat Boy 2.0. Hentai Middle lover. Time, Brendan H. Cooter Donkey. Pizza. Maxi G. Swiss Argo. Who's Elijah Senpai. And LPC. Thank you.